Hello, hello. Okay, so it's Sunday and me and Karen are going to a home store. She got an appointment there. It's like one of those home stores in LA where you have to have an appointment to shop. They have to have a salesperson with you to like help you pull stuff that you want. So that's when they do that. So she got an appointment and invited me to go with her. So I'm like, girl, okay. I love home stuff. You guys know that. Also, I sliced my finger right in the crease, which is super annoying because obviously I bend my finger a lot and it hurts every time I bend my hand. And I just peeled up another finger crease cut. I don't know if you can see right there on the thumb. I sliced my thumb in the crease. Just healed up was the most annoying little cut ever because obviously I use my thumb a lot. And now I did it on my index. I was baking a cake and I was trying to slice the top of the cake off so I could layer the cakes. So it would be even and I slice my finger. We're going to some home stores today and I'm gonna take you with me. Happy Sunday. All right, me and Karen are here. We're both vlogging. Hi. Nice Hi. You guys, so pretty okay. here. You know this is my vibe. This store just opened here on Melrose. It's called Interior Greens. And oh my God. You guys know I love these pots. I actually have a couple that look similar. So gorgeous. I also love this mirror, so antique -y. So me and Karen are gonna take one of everything, correct? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> okay guys, I decided on this cutting board for my centerpiece. I'm gonna set it up whenever I get home and show you guys, but I'm gonna put my big Santal candle here. And then I'm going to do this. Guys, I have some pots like this around my house, but I never really thought to put candles in them and I love the vibe of this. So if you have, some pretty bowls or like any antique pots. A great thing for your candles, plus it would protect your countertop from the base of the candle getting too hot. So I'm gonna do this whenever I get home. This is also places I would go to get a lot of inspo whenever I did my home myself. Literally look around, take pictures, and get all that inspo. I'm considering getting this bench here. Guys, I have some stuff like this at home. I want to put some moss in it, which this is a great way to add greenery to your home, but not have to buy a plant and keep it alive. If you have any bowl or dish and you get the moss from a plant store, gorgeous. I didn't know it was the same. No, no bathroom. Nowhere to put it. This, look at it from the side. I'm so dead. Wouldn't that be so pretty? I know. Okay, guys, I added on this big pot. <laughs> And I'm getting, getting all this, my I'm getting this, and I'm getting this bench as well. So I'll show you guys when I get home how I'm gonna style it all. We're crazy. We're crazy. We're crazy. This is Karen. Literally a portion of what we're taking. Plus, Karen's getting this for her spare bedroom. It's so dream. It's so pretty. So what do you guys fill it up with when it's gone? Okay guys, we're officially at Target. Me and Karen just needed to pick up a few things and we're already together. We both needed to go to Target. So we went and dropped off all the home stuff at our houses because we're neighbors, so easy. And now we're at Target. And we're just gonna get a couple little thingy things that we need and maybe a couple things that we don't need. We're in the home section. We got a couple groceries, a couple little must-haves. The number one thing we wanted to get was the chia seeds because we saw this TikTok where you can make a laxative basically and clean out for good gut health, putting warm water, lemon, and chia seeds and just like chugging it in the morning. So we both got a pack of chia seeds. One half lemon, one half TSP chia seeds, one cup warm water, drink every morning. And we're both gonna give that a go and then we were just looking at uh, pillows here. We got home decor covered. We just wanted to look at pillows. Cause honey, they got the pillows, but if I had to pick my favorite pillows out of this whole section, it would be these two. I feel like this looks really nice. I wish it wasn't a lumber, but it's like the, like the color. Oh yeah, and the uh, woven. And the, yeah, and this it looks... is another size, it's a little bigger. Should I, is this gonna take up too much cart space? I could put it on the bottom. No, fuck it, go ahead. All right. Cause this will be cute on my outdoor couch. Absolutely. Mm. I got a pillow. <laughs> I said, I found a pillow. <laughs> it's a good one because the couch is long, so I feel like this one will fit really well. Taking up a little bit of cart space there. That's the only bad thing about buying pillows at Target. They take up all your cart space. They do. They do. Mm -hmm. You know what, too? The only thing that I sometimes don't like at Target is that some of the pillows you can't remove the covers if you need to wash them. Oh, yeah. So you're stuck with like not being able to clean them and disinfect them. 
but no, that is a problem because you know what I did yesterday because I couldn't take my pillow Target pillowcase you off. Threw it in the wash. I had to take the water hose and spray down the oh pillows because I couldn't take it apart. That's the only thing. But then when you do find the ones that come with the inserts, I think those are the ones you should splurge on. And this one, I believe. Nope, we're stuck with it, aren't we? Oh, it's still cute. It's so That's cute. okay. I think it's so worth the price. Yeah. Oh my gosh, absolutely. Compared to some of these other home stores, are crazy with the pillowcases. Oh, no, I'm not missing anything. Uh -uh. I'm obsessed with I'm waiting for them to drop like a new line because I feel like they've had the same kind of repetitive things for the last year. During Christmas time in 2021, I was not impressed. Yeah, with the kind of looks the same. What's going it was on? Like the same Especially thing. this stuff always looks the same to me. Yeah, we need. I feel like it's always evolving, you know. Yeah, yeah. we need something new. Oh, I actually did buy that shower caddy. Or that one's really nice. One, yeah, I needed to get a new one. Also, those cost a lot at other stores too. But you know what's cute is their dishcloths. I'm gonna get some dishcloths. Hopefully they don't cost a ton because you can get them at um, Home Goods for a good price. But I'm gonna get some fresh dishcloth. All right, guys. Here is my Target run. I will report back whenever we're home and show you guys everything I got. Okay, Yoshi, we're home. Yoshi, what are you doing, you pretty angel? Okay, I, I'm gonna start decorating. I think one of these, I think this one's Karen's accidentally got left at my house, but I'm, I, I gotta reassess and look at my footage to make sure, <laughs> cause I can't remember. But anyways, I have two places I wanna put this bench. Either right here, which would tuck a little here, but if you'll look, this goes all the way back. So there's plenty of space, and I would probably move this under this table potentially, or this isn't actually an outdoor pot. I could put it outside, a couple different places I can move that, or, this is a mess right now. I'm gonna take this out of here, out of this section, and move the cat bed over. And I was thinking of putting the bench here, which is probably what I'm gonna do. Like, I'm probably gonna plant this in here, move it to this side, remove the basket, and put the bench here. That's what I'm thinking. All right, guys, here is my big cutting. Oh, I, oh, I, oh, I hit my hip. <laughs> Big cutting board, but it's got legs on it. So I want to put it in the middle of my island here and take this little bitty cutting board off. Something like that. And then I bought a pot from right here. Okay, I'm moving some pots around in my house. And because this candle is like, the centerpiece is so large and the island is quite large. Anything you put on this island, it will make it look small so fast. So like this piece I thought was kind of a big piece for a kitchen island. And then I put it there and it looked tiny. It looked tiny. So I'm thinking this and then I'm thinking a little a little branch of greenery happened. Actually, I'm gonna go dig them out of the trash. I think they just got trimmed up. And I think there's some fresh limbs left, so I'm gonna go dig them out of the trash. Gorgeous! Okay, headed inside. Let's see if I can trim some of these off and make them warm. Okay, here we go. Oh. These are from the Dollar Tree and they're actually really good. Amazon. I love my glass cylinders because you can hide them down in pots and it also helps support your branches and you can water them so they last much, much longer and then you hide it. You would never know that was in there. They need to be up a little higher. It's actually really pretty. Hmm, I think we got something going on here. All right, friends, so the greenery is a work in progress, but I think it looks okay. Um, it'll last for now, but this is the new setup. I think it looks really pretty. The old setup was this cutting board, which just looked too small for the space. And then I had this pot and then this and some of the other stuff, but I'll probably update the greenery. I just did, you know, a little dumpster dive for my greenery right now. And I have it in the cylinder in there. And then I also flipped it with a chip clip right down in there to 
push the branches together. I chip clipped my uh, greenery, but overall, I think it looks really, really pretty. Went ahead and lit a little candle. What do you think, Miss Yosh? For the dining room, I just added these two pots. This is specifically why I bought them, to stagger them. And we're gonna put a massive candle in them. And what's nice is while eating, or medium-sized candle, whichever, you can have candles burning. And yeah, it's gonna look really good over there. Okay, now this guy right here, I, I wanna try it right here just to see just to see. I think it's a no for here. I'm not sure, but I think it's a no. So I'm gonna try in the kitchen. I'm still playing with it. Also, they're renovating my bathroom, so ignore this situation. They just didn't want anything to pop up from the balcony and bust through the glass. They put that board there, but you know, I'm marinating on it, but I can tell you it looks a lot better than the mess that was there to begin with. So I'll report back if I figure out another concoction for it. I also have a spare bedroom where I'm thinking this would be really, really pretty. And then I also got this little dish. I do wish it was bigger, so I might move this upstairs, but I just put some oranges on it to give this space a little bit of color. Isn't that just cute? Going into my Target haul, I got these dishcloths. I thought they were very pretty. They were $10. Next up, Karen Hatz uh, recommended this dressing, so I can't wait to try it out. I do a balsamic vinaigrette, which I'm getting a little bit tired of, so I was excited to try a new dressing. And then these immunity boosts, and so do Thai. They're also good for gut health, and they always have these at Target, so I try to grab a few. I can't even read what this says. Then I got some seasoning. Ooh, I think I've tried this. We used to always use this back in the day at home, but Karen had said she was using it. We clearly influence each other on purchases. I think I remember it's like Cajun seasoning, she said. I was like, I feel like I've seen this in a metal can back in the day. It was like a metal can. I don't know. Clorox wipes. Then I got two more bags. Hair dye, I got four boxes. Don't ask, don't tell. I got these, which I don't use these on my laundry as much, but I use them on my blankets and stuff like that. These smell so good. And that's all that was in that bag. Ooh, what's in here? Chia seeds, oh wait, these are the salted roasted pumpkin seeds. I love those on my salad. Then um, this was recommended to me by none other than Karen. Uh, so this is like a soy sauce alternative. Don't know if I like it. I'm skeptical because it has like coconut in it. I don't really like it coconut but we'll give it a go love these on my salad the sunflower seeds amount of tomatoes sugar-free ketchup and lastly i got the chia seeds for that recipe i want to try i want to give it a go with the lemon water hot lemon water and chia seeds just to drink it so we'll see what happens you guys i'm in my pantry I already had one. I did not even know we had this, but uh, now I have two. I was like, oh yeah, I'll give this a try. I feel like I've seen this before um, in my pantry. Sometimes, you know, things are happening. So I was realizing something as I was showing you my seasonings and, and things like that. I am such a Virgo. I am the most Virgo-y Virgo ever. And I don't know that I've always been believing in astrological signs and I honestly don't know 100% how I feel about it like currently. There are times when I definitely have been like holy crap that's so odd because of how real it is but then there have been case studies. I, th I don't know it's like a teacher like wrote like something specific about a person and passed it around. Everybody got something different. And like at the end, he was like, raise your hand if you feel like yours applies to you. And everybody in the class raised their hand, but he gave everybody the same thing. Meaning whatever your sign says, you could find that in you regardless of what sign it is. Anyways, I'm sure this is a huge debate that I don't even know how grandeur it is. Like I probably, this is probably going to ruffle feathers that I don't even know that I'm ruffling because that's how uneducated on astrological signs and what astrology that I am talking about it right now. Like I am, I'm not deep in it, you guys. I don't even know what time I was born. So I don't even know all my moons and stars, but I do know that I'm a Virgo. So when I was younger, I didn't care about astrology. I'm also from Alabama and like LA is like heavy into this. Okay. But in Alabama, no one really cared. And only thing I remember about astrology when from my younger years is, I don't know if you guys remember the store Limited 2. It was really expensive for like kids clothes, but it was like the coolest place on earth also. Of course, it was always my dream to get some stuff from there. And like 
my mom would let me shop, shop the clearance racks there sometimes. Like, found this discounted astrological shirt that said Virgo on it. And I was like, Mom, can I get this? This is Virgo. She got it for me. And I remember I went to, for some of my elementary school, like in sixth grade or just sixth grade, I can't remember. Went to a Christian school, okay? I went to a Christian school. They literally sent me home when I wore the shirt because it said Virgo. And they're like, I guess it was against God's policy there. And so they sent my home they sent me packing we are flea market shopping today we are at the silver lake flea market it's kind of close to downtown i never come down here this is our first time at this one. Oh yeah also this first time also i got layers in my hair flirty 30 30 flirty and thriving i can't wait to style it a little more i'm about to fade away because every time i wake up i feel like it's monday something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain all of a sudden i don't look at anything the same way gotta build up on my thoughts sitting in an ashtray i'm sorry that i'm so inconvenient what'd you find i don't know you put this on my head what's it say i this like cops <laughs> imagine <laughs> look at all these huge jean shorts i need some jorts I'm digging out. Uh huh, maybe not these, but. I think I need these. <gasps> Levi's, wait a damn minute. So the store has a bunch of like vintage tees. Same as the video that we filmed the other day. Look, Harley Davidson right there. Same oh, as yeah. the video, probably a fraction of the cost. Laura will be sure to link that video right here. <laughs> what size are these, babe? I don't know. I can't tell. Alright, that looks good. Okay, just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way. I can see the way you look at me, I'm such a disgrace. I never really asked to be brought into this place. Yeah, they got it. What if you where, where would I wear this? Okay, wait. Look at these crocheted pants. I need them to see. They're so heavy. I know. They're so heavy. And they also have these skirts. Oh, wait. These are shorts. These are... I'm telling you, you should get some women in these. I really hope that you will choose to stay through all the pain. I know you told your friend you're not okay. And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way. Buy anything at the flea market. <laughs> Not a single thing. Nothing jumped out to us. Nothing spoke to us. So we literally got nothing. And we literally drove 45 minutes to a flea market <laughs> to buy nothing. And that's okay because right now we found this restaurant. Very good ratings and it's been here since 1923. So Baby, I'm down. Let's see what the food is looking like. All right, what are you gonna get? I'm like not knowing. I do love a good fajita. Oh my that? god, we found them. Okay, I'm gonna do fajitas for sure. I'm gonna do chicken fajitas. Ooh, the sizzling skillet. Yeah. You smell like fajitas for a week. Yeah, we are. And I'm totally okay with that. On this beyond food coma, I'll report back. It's not gonna be good. What'd you think? It was pretty good. It was mediocre. Kind of don't fuck around with food places. Yeah, but... You should be a food critic. Yeah, I will. It's been my live stream. Um, Ty lost a bet and has to clean up any cat pee that's <sighs> in or around our home. And that's a ton because Boo pees all over I our house. I when I got home from our trip, pee cleaned... <laughs> <laughs> you peed in the house? I cleaned up the pee. Okay, so it's probably not that bad then. No, but I have some special spots for you to clean anyway. Wow, <laughs> how are they special? Are you trying to steady this or are you just like letting it flop? <laughs> I'm just letting it flop. How are they special? Like he gets into places you can't reach? No, there's just little spottings. Okay. Plus I did some laundry and I'll get you to fold that and stuff. Uh, that had nothing to do with the bet we made, sister. <laughs> Alright, we're headed home. We got a flat tire. So Ty's fixing it. Let me show you. That's what was in the tire? Yeah. Why did you- Heavy duty tire. Okay. And why did you put it in the tire? Why did I put it in the tire? Why did you run it over? I probably did. All right, Ty's fixing it with a kit. And how do you know how much air is in it? Um, it says it on the front. Oh. 38. 
Yes, I, baby. Right, so the renovation is finally happening to the bathroom. You guys are like, you talked about it so much. I was wondering when too, but here we are. Here we are, let's get in here. My balcony is out of commission, as well as this side of my room. Oh, it's dusty in here. This is what they've been doing. It is pretty freaking crazy. Isn't this insane how much doing to take out of here. Cabinets got taken out today. Still have the mirror in here. We'll put it somewhere else. Same with that chandelier. Oh my goodness gracious. This is uh, what bathroom renovations look like. Can't wait for you guys to see what it's gonna like. It's gonna be so good. Oh my gosh, there's nails everywhere. I need to get out of here. Probably shouldn't be in here, but things are happening. I don't, I didn't even know you are vlogging. I am. You haven't vlogged since we started. Did I vlog this morning though? No. My hair was so silky smooth when I got here and this is what like the ocean air does to my hair. But anyways, we're here. We're getting our steps in. Hey, 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 hey. Okay, we stopped by Malibu to get some Lily's burritos. My friend Melissa Alator put me on this place. So we grabbed the burritos. It's really hot. Holy crap, these are really big. Where's my, what are I doing? Oh, here's mine. <laughs> I already got it out, I forgot. Look at this guy. Oh yeah. It's still good. Malibu. Ah, Malibu. 